Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we will take a closer look at string. As I said in the previous lecture, string is a big topic to describe, so that is why we created a separate video for string. So let's talk about what is string. String is just a simple text data. You can also say string is a collection of characters, numbers, and symbols. In the JavaScript, string represent unique code text. If you think, then this will definitely comes in your mind. What is unique code? Unique code text is a computing industrial standard for representing text data. Unique code store letter and characters by assigning a number of each one. I will show you how to create unique code in JavaScript after a few minutes. But first, let's take a look what is escaping. So you probably know that creating a string or to create a literal of string, we need to specify single or double quotes. What if I want to add a single quote to specify apostrophe in my string? When I use apostrophe in my string, it will terminate string literal. Let's take an example. If I say let str is equal to in the single quote, we will say we took bank from him, comma, he said in the double quote, we say this is my bag and end the statement with semicolon. Let's take in one more example. Let str1 is equal to in the double quote, we will say don't touch my back and end the statement with semicolon. So the both literal are correct. Because the string is set up with the single quote in the first example and the double quote in the second example. What if I want to add both at the same time? If I say let str error is equal to and in the double quote we will say we took back from him comma and he said now we put double quote here and say don't so we specify don't and specify apostrophe here for t touch my back so this statement produce an error message because at the same time we use single and double quote for the string literal. So that is why the JavaScript doesn't know where to set up the string. To solve this problem, we have escaping. I will write down the previous example again without any error. So we will just say let str is equal to and in the double quote we specify we took bag from him comma and he said so now to specify single and double quote in the string literal we have a backslash so we'll say backslash double quote don't backslash single quote t touch my bag backslash double quote and end the statement with the semicolon so this example doesn't create any error message because we had used escaping here the backslash not only used for the quotation mark but also it can be used for non-printable characters following is the string letter commonly used for special characters so backslash n used to display text in the new line backslash r used for carriage return backslash t for tab backslash single quote is for single quote backslash double quote is for double quotes backslash backtick used for backtick so this is new in the ECMAScript 6 there is a one more special character new in the ECMAScript which is dollar sign to add backslash, we have a double backslashes. And the final is we have a backslash u and the four 
x used for represent unique code characters where 4x represent hexadecimal value of particular character now we will take a look how to add a unique code in the string literal and i will also show you how to concatenate strings so we will first create a variable called temp is equal to 20.5 after that, we'll create one more variable of str cat is equal to, and in the double quote, we specify weather of India is, and to concatenate string, we have a plus sign. So I will just add a plus sign just after the double quote and specify my temperature here. So I will say temp plus to concatenate one more string. We add plus here and in the double quote we add a degree symbol so this is unique code to add a degree symbol to your string so i will just say backslash u 0 0 b 0 c so this unique code will add degree symbol in your string in ECMAScript 6, there is a one way to concatenate two strings using string template, also known as string interpolation. So to do the same thing in the ECMAScript 6, instead of using a double quote, we are using a backtick to concatenate the string. So we have a same example here, but I will just edit the literal. So I will just put a literal in the backtick and to call a variable. In the literal, I will use a dollar sign and open and closing curly braces. In that curly braces, specify your variable name which you wanted to display in your string and then specify your unique code. So this is as simple as that. You are free to choose your own way to write the string literal. What if you wanted to print your string literal in the new line? Suppose you have a string and the remaining string of your literal, you wanted to display that string in the new line. What will you do? So we have a two methods to display string in the new line using special characters. So we will just write let str is equal to in the double quote, we specify one line backslash and second line and end the statement with semicolon so this statement will print string literal on two lines on the first line you will see one line text and on the second line you will see second line text now let me show you the second method to use the same thing with the back tick so i will just say let str is equal to i will add back tick here and specify one line enter to line so when you print this statement you will get the same result on console so you will get one line text on the first line and two line text on the second line so this is the way where you can insert the multi-line string in your code now there is one more interesting thing of string literal when you play with the string literal you will get confusing result so if you say let result 1 is equal to 5 multiply by 5 of string type and you also have a second statement of let result 2 is equal to 5 plus 5 of string type then what is the result of the first and second statement is it string or number and what is the output let me know in the comment what is the output and type of these two statement write down your answer in the comment i will reply you with the correct answer now the good news is we will speed up the javascript tutorial series a little bit more as per my subscriber wish i will upload a new video every day from tuesday get ready for the daily upload Thank you for your love and support. We will see you in the next lecture.